Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So Dr. Shabir, today's question is from Mazin about uh, Nazarin, a Christian sect. And he's asking, he would like to ask about the word in the Quran and if it is more accurately referring to Nazarene Christian sect who had only one Ar Aramic gospel and rejected all the canonical gospels and accepted the virgin birth and observed the Torah and the dietary. And then he goes on to say, because the word Christian is translated and transliterated in Arabic as Messiah, which is never mentioned in the Quran. Hmm. So it, it's a long question and, and, and well put actually, because it summarizes some of the questions that mm -hmm. have been raised in the discussion of who the Quran is referring to when it says, uh, qalu inna nasara, mm -hmm. those who say we are the uh, Nazarenes. Yeah. Uh, and the Quran says uh, um, uh, that, that God made a covenant with them and refers to them as people of the book more generally. Uh, so why does the Quran use this term Nasara for them? Some have thought that maybe, as the questioner is alluding to, uh, maybe there was a Jewish sect or some Jewish sects uh, of uh, Jewish Christian sects mm -hmm. uh, that were present in Arabia at the time of the Quranic revelation and the Quran was actually reflecting on, on this uh, situation, uh, affording this name to those uh, Christians. Uh, Sidney Griffith, uh, on the other hand, in his article on the Nasara that is found in a book entitled New Perspectives on the Quran by edited by Gabriel Said Reynolds uh, goes into details about this and he rejects uh, the common uh, view of scholars before him uh, who tried to posit the existence of some such Jewish Christian sects in Arabia in the 7th century. In fact, nobody has been able to show any concrete evidence of the existence of such uh, Jewish Christian sects there in Arabia at the time. Which would have been referred to the Nazarene, as, right? as the Nazarenes, mm -hmm. or, or Nasar, or Nazoreans. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, uh, he, what he finds is that uh, the, the Quran is using its own rhetorical strategy in uh, calling the Christians towards the Quranic uh, worldview and uh, critiquing and sometimes uh, caricaturing uh, some of the beliefs that, that they have. And at the same time, uh, the Quran, by using this term Nasara, uh, is uh, probably using a term that uh, the uh, Christians at the time may have accepted for themselves, even though, mm -hmm. even though the term itself, as used in the New Testament, seems to have been used by non-Christians uh, as a reference to Christians in a derogatory manner. But it's possible that uh, in, in the Arabic context, the word Nasara was taken to be related to the word Ansar, which means helper. Mm. And uh, in, in the Quran, it, it is related that Jesus said to his disciples, who will be the uh, helpers of God? And, uh, the, and the disciples said, we are. And the Quran calls on Muslims, be the helpers of God, as were the disciples of Jesus. So the, the word for helpers seems to sound close to the word Nasara in, in Arabic. And it is possible that the Christians at the time said, yeah, sure, we are, we are Nasara, to capitalize on that similar pronunciation of the two words, uh, which means helper on the one hand, and now Nazarene on, on the other. So it may be these Christians of a mainstream sort of uh, view that the Quran is actually referring to at the time, not necessarily Jewish Christians, but uh, Christians uh, more generally who have uh, adopted the Nicene Creed and uh, have the beliefs that are more common to mainstream Christianity. So in that case, uh, Sidney Griffith sees no reason to posit the existence of groups who are otherwise unattested in the area at the time. Perfect. Thank you very much for You're clarifying, welcome. Dr. Shabir. Hey, YouTube. We hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.